This video demonstrates creation of a left leg arteriovenous graft in an end-stage renal disease patient. This patient has exhausted all his upper extremity excess options and has central venous stenosis. He previously also had a left leg fistula that thrombosed. Ultrasound is then used to assess the location of the common femoral artery and common femoral vein for creation of a left leg AV graft. An oblique incision is then made just below the inguinal trees. Dissection is carried through the subcutaneous tissue. Dissection is continued deep to the tissues and side branches are then ligated and clipped. Next we continue our dissection until the common femoral artery and common femoral vein are exposed. We make sure that adequate length of the artery and vein are available for performing our anastomosis later. Next an artery graph is then brought in place and the proposed site of tunneling is then marked. Counter incisions are made for tunneling purposes. Next, a tunneler is introduced. Care is taken to make sure that the tunnel is not so superficial to compromise the blood flow to the skin and not deep to make it inaccessible for dialysis. As we get close to the incision, the tunnel is deepened down through the wound. The RT graft is then marked for proper orientation for the purpose of tunneling. This graft is then tied to the tunneler and pulled through the tunneler. Once the graft is tunneled, a bulldog clamp is applied and the graft is flushed to make sure there is no twisting or kinking of the RT graft. The orientation of the graft is such that the venous limb lies in line with its outflow. Next, the venous limb of the graft is beveled. A side biting clamp is placed on the common femoral vein and 5000 units of heparin are given. We then proceed with making a venotomy in the common femoral vein. This venotomy is then extended proximally and distally with a pot scissors. Next, Stay sutures are placed in the common femoral vein. This would allow for adequate exposure while creating our end to side anastomosis between the graft and the common femoral vein. The end to side anastomosis is then constructed using a 6 proline suture. The clamp on the common femoral vein is then released followed by distension of the AV graft. The graft is then flushed with heparinized saline. Next, the graft is beveled at its arterial end to perform our end to side anastomosis. The common femoral artery is then marked for our arteriotomy and this is followed by placement of distal and proximal clamps. An arteriotomy is then made with an 11 blade and extended with pot scissors. This is followed by placement of stay sutures on the common femoral artery allowing for adequate exposure during construction of our anastomosis between the artery graft and the common femoral artery. Next we proceed by creating an end to side anastomosis between the common femoral artery and artery graft. Once the graft is created we proceed with removing the clamps first removing the venous outflow clamp followed by the distal arterial clamp. The distal artery is then temporarily occluded and the proximal clamp is removed. This is done to prevent any embolization downstream to the leg. A thrill is then felt over the left leg AV graft. This concludes our video for creation of a left lower extremity arteriovenous graft.